spent most of today traveling. Took the uh, KTX high speed rail from Seoul down to this area, which is around Pyeongchang. Super slow escalator. Why are they so slow? Look how slow this pillar goes past. never really ended. Um, they basically just stopped fighting. But technically, North and South Korea are still at war. But for this reason, every man in Korea has to do military service. They have to train and be ready to fight. And it's quite a big thing for a lot of men in Korea. It, uh, it's quite a long time out of their life. Um, they have to stop whatever they're studying and leave their families and to go and train to be soldiers. And the result of that is that you see a lot of soldiers around in Korea, and especially here in Seoul Station. In fact, there's, I'll see if I can film something, there's one going by right now. There's another one right in front of me. So this is the KTX high-speed train. I'm sitting right near the front. Captain Underpants and the Attack of the Talking Toilets and Captain Underpants and the Invasion of the Incredibly Naughty Cafeteria Ladies from Outer Space and the Subsequent Assault of the Equally Evil Lunchroom Zombie Nerds and Captain Underpants and the Perilous Plot of Professor Poopy Pants. I decided to read three of these seeing as they're rather short and if you know anything about Captain Underpants books, you will know that they are quite similar. In The Talking Toilets, George and Harold create a comic book um, called Captain Underpants and the Attack of the Talking Toilets. And when they try to copy it, they accidentally use a machine called the Patsy 2000 which doesn't just copy things, it actually makes 2D objects into 3D objects. And so, of course, the talking toilets come to life. In the second book that I read, which is actually the third Captain Underpants novel, um, the cafeteria ladies quit because they're tired of George and Harold being rude to them and making fun of them. And in their place, Mr. Krupp, the principal, employs 
three aliens called Zorks, Klax, and Jennifer. And naturally, they are trying to take over the world, starting with George and Harold's school. In the perilous plot of Professor Poopy Pants, George and Harold's science teacher quits this time. And Professor Poopy Pants, who is a good guy to start with, gets a job at their school as a science teacher. But with a name like that, he finds that all the children just laugh at him. And eventually he decides to try and take over the world. And to start with, he wants everybody to change their names using this key or this code. If you're interested, my name turns into snotty burger chunks. I liked all three of these books and what was quite interesting is that at the end of the invasion book Captain Underpants actually gets some superpowers until this point he had really just been a, a regular person dressed in in underpants and, and a cape but he drinks some extra strength superpower juice and from then on, he has genuine superpowers. He's very strong and can fly, but only when he is Captain Underpants, not as Principal Krupp. And this continues on into the fourth novel when he's fighting Professor Puppy Pants. These are all great books to read, really good fun. Recommend them to anyone. And of course, there are lots and lots of them and lots and lots of other books by Dave Pilkey, um, if you like his kind of toilet humour, which, to be honest, I do.